Hello guys, welcome to Maker Monday. I'm Bernd, I'm IT administrator at Pesla and today we start our new series here on our YouTube channel and we build together a growing home automation system for your home. In this first episode we want to install and configure the basic home assistant system based on this Raspberry Pi. Uh, we also set up an MQTT server. Okay, let's start. Okay, uh, now let's start up with the installation of Home Assistant. The easiest way for the installation is to download the Haspian image it's provided by Home Assistant. It's based on Raspbian. You can uh, download it easily on the website. We download it here from GitHub. Here, uh, click on Has.io image for Raspberry Pi 3. It should work on a Raspberry Pi 2 also but uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 is the better choice. So download it, I've already done this. Um, unzip it and you get this uh, Haspian image file. You can flash it to a SD card, use uh, Etcher. So we start Etcher. Now uh, we select the Haspian image. Uh, start it on the desktop so we will find it easy. Open it and here you can uh, change your SD card. I have only one, so we'll take this one. And press flash. Maybe you have to allow it, it's okay. And now we have to wait. Okay, uh, the flash process is finished. So let's put the SD card, if I get out of my laptop here. We put it into the Raspi uh, with a really cool uh, blue case. It's uh, self 3D printed. If you want your own Pesla Raspberry Pi 3 case, uh, we will provide you the STL files. You can print it for yourself. So we put it in. Need some power. Uh, normally we would put in a network cable. Uh, we will work here with wireless LAN. So we don't use a cable. Um, let's start it up. The first startup of a home assistant will take a lot of time, so wait about 20 to 25 minutes until it's finished. The operating system boots up, get an IP address, connects to the internet, downloads the newest version of home assistant. Okay, welcome back. The 20 minutes are over. The uh, web interface should start it completely. Just uh, take a computer in your network, switch to your browser and type in the IP address from your Raspberry Pi. I've made a DNS address so I don't have to type the number so I can access my web interface with Haspian. And the default port to access is 8123. You can see it here already. That's Home Assistant. It's really empty at the moment. It prints uh, the sun and the weather here. It's rainy outside at the moment. Okay, uh, I think we should start with the first configuration. Uh, later in the series we want to use a lot of MQTT devices, so I think we should start to set up the MQTT provider on our Raspberry Pi. Okay, um, to log in into your um, new Home Assistant, you can use SSH with PuTTY or if you're Mac, only use the terminal. So, I start PuTTY now. Here the same, you use for login your IP address from the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, I can use my DNS name. I connect to a Haspian. The default login is Pi for the user and Raspberry as password. So you're locked in here and clear the screen. Okay, we're connected to the Raspberry Pi now. So first of all, we stop Home Assistant. We do this by sudo systemctl stop home, press tab and you will complete it. So 
It stopped now because uh, Home Assistant provides own MQTT implementation, which is not really flexible, so we want to exchange this. So now we can down, uh, install um, Mosquito, it's a very popular MQTT broker. It's easy to do, only do sudo apt get install mosquito. So yeah, one will newly installed, it should, uh, yeah, it's really quick, it's a really small tool. Now um, we want to make uh, some configurations for Mosquito. We don't want to use it without a username and a password, so we will disable anonymous login. We switch to slash etc Mosquito and create a password file. We can do this by running um, Mosquito pass vd minus c and provide a file name so i will call it users dot pass vd and a username i will call it mqtt user so you will request the password and we put it in All right confirm the password Okay, we can't write to this directory, so let's do this as root. Okay, if you look at the directory, you will see the new password file. Now we have to activate this in the configuration, so we switch to the confd directory. Here um, you can place as much files as you want. Um, the own is they have to end with .conf, so they will load it automatically on startup. So we create a user configuration file. We have to do this also as root. We call it users.conf. I'll take vim. You maybe can use nano or a ditto of your choice. Users.conf. We write allow anonymous false and a second we say where we can find uh, the password file. It's uh, password file and, and the pass to the password file. It's etc mosquito slash uh, call it users dot pass pd and we'll write this so that's all with the configuration now uh, we want to change the mosquito from sysv in it to systemd so uh, we can uh, set it that home assistant only starts if mosquito is started uh, for this i've uh, created a systemd in a file I've uh, prepared here, you can download it later, we'll put it under the video. So we take this and copy it. We copy this to, uh, we do it with sudo, copy to etc system d system. I call it, you can call it what you want, but uh, call it mosquito.service. Take an editor, it will help. So copy the startup script here and save it. So now we disable the old uh, this in it with uh, sudo update rc.d mosquito disable. So the system will disable the old start script and now we delete it with sudo rm etc init d mosquito and now we add the new script to uh, automatic startup with sudo 
system CTL enable mosquito service. That's all. So the system creates a symlink. It's uh, auto started now. And um, now we changed the Home Assistant start script to uh, first start Mosquito before it starts Home Assistant. So we change this file also as sudo etc system the system. Oh, I forgot the editor again. <laughs> sudo vim system. Home Assistant uh, servers. So here we add the line requires mosquito dot service, and you also can add here start after mosquito dot service. I'll write this file. We have to reload the systemd daemon. sudo systemctl daemon reload. So, and then start it up. Start mosquito. So now mosquito should start it up. And check that. Yes, Mosquito is running. So we have configured the full Mosquito. We set a username and a password. We change the Scout script and Mosquito is running. Now we can switch back to Home Assistant and configure Home Assistant to talk with our new installed Mosquito. Uh, now we change to the configuration file from uh, Home Assistant. It's located under Home, Home Assistant dot home assistant so if you make here a file list um, this is the main configuration file for from uh, for home assistant you can set customizations automations uh, we do this all later now we make uh, the basic configuration so uh, take an editor of you want so i always take vim maybe you have to open the files with sudo because uh, owned by Home Assistant and we're using uh, the user pi. So sudo vim configuration.yaml. The full configuration of Home Assistant is made in YAML. It's an easy markup language. So let's start here. The first we do is we give it a, ho a name. So the default is home. You can call it maker home or whatever you want. Here you can uh, configure your, dis uh, your destination. Where, where are you in uh, GPS coordinates? So Home Assistant can use them to generate uh, the weather, the sunlight, and so on. So also we can provide the elevation here. We are at uh, 330 meters. You can switch here to metric or imperial. We are in Germany, so we use the metric system. It's easy to configure. Here you can set your time zone. So we are here in Europe, Berlin. Set your time zone wherever you are. And now the configuration file starts. Everything you want to configure in Home Assistant is in this file. So switching to the end. Here are the inclusion for the other configuration files for grouped automations. We will do this in the next or one other uh, episode. Now we save this file first. Um, some very important, if you have to place passwords into your configuration, so you shouldn't write them to the main configuration file because they will be uh, uh, seen in loggings. Uh, every, when, if you back up your configuration, all is in the configuration, everybody can read this, we can ac get access to those files. So you can store them in a separate file, it's called secrets. So let's open that. Uh, here it's a secrets.yaml. So let's open that and here you can store your password. You write uh, 
password name you want to use, uh, you call it the MQTT password. So uh, now here you place your value. Yeah, you call, put in here your password, I write down MQTT password. Replace this with your password you set while MQTT installation. So go out and save this. Now we go back to the YAML, the configuration YAML, I'll switch to the end. And now in the configurations file, we define the MQTT broker. So we type here MQTT broker. Here we write down the IP address from the broker because it's on the same machine like Home Assistant. So we type in here localhost. Then we type the username we defined before. So the, my username is MQTT user. Now we define the password. So here we don't write the clear text password. So we defined it in the secrets YAML file. We can use it here as a key. We write down secret and the name of the password. I've called it MQTT password. So uh, we write here MQTT password, it will load it from the secrets file and you don't have to write it here in the config file. It's the better way to do this. So um, we write this to the configuration and start the home assistant. So do system CTL start or restart if it's running. Type home assistant. Press tab for auto completion and so. Now we switch to the browser and in some seconds the Home Assistant should show up. Here we are. Now we are back to the Home Assistant web front end and here we got the new button. Yeah, it's the MQTT button. And now we can publish messages to our own MQTT gateway. Okay, um, now it's time to test our new MQTT server. So I think we should use Fridolin. Uh, this is Fridolin. We plug it in to, uh, we only need power. So take here USB. So the Fridolin boots up. I've uh, pre-configured him, uh, so he connects to the wireless LAN and to the MQTT server here in the Raspberry Pi. So if the eyes switch to red, um, he's connected. So let's try something. Um, now we push a command with MQTT to Fridolin. He has some some cool features. So one is uh, Fridolin I mode set. So we set another I mode, actually it's mode zero, it's solid light red. So let's try the mode two. I don't know what he has implemented all, but I think mode two should work. So yes, his eyes changed, so the MQTT is working. We are finished for today. We have done a lot of uh, crazy configuration on the command line. Uh, the next episode will be more funny, so um, we will do something with this uh, wireless uh, sockets, but without this, we want to configure it with Home Assistant. So feel free to subscribe and uh, see more from Maker Monday and Fridolin. <laughs>